It's a little hard to tell, but if you're this close where I am, it's impossible to see what's happening. Uh, So I gotta sort of feel my way and what it feels like I wanna do rather than see or change something. The other part of the problem, and it's not a problem, the other part of the equation is I really don't know what I'm gonna paint yet. This is moving and being right now, but I really what I'm doing may suggest something. I thought before that I might do a bull just from a conscious standpoint because somebody had is interested I know that that wants a bull uh, but I don't know I'm putting a base on it now this may have to dry before I work on to the next stage But even at this point, it's very much the same that it's not a question of thinking, what do I want to do, but of looking or feeling there's a place that's empty or there's something that's happening. I look and I see that's open. I kind of like what's happening here. As I say, I'm so close, I can't really see. I'd have to walk back about eight feet to see it. But I don't really want to see it right now because if I do, I'm going to change it. And it's better at this point coming out. There's something here that I don't like, I know that. So that's enough reason to change it. And here's the question I don't like so much, is more of just being aware that it's there. Uh, and I don't want to be aware. I just want to... Whatever it is, that's better. But then you can overdo it better. And there's a tendency when you do something and it works well, is to pick up the same thing to do it again. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But one of the things about painting, there isn't anything you can't change. So, there's really no need for fear. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm sorry? Quit when you're ahead. <laughs> yeah, well, that's part of the problem that happens in things like this. Every once in a while, something happens pretty good. And it's a crime to go through a painting, something that is, and just kill it for any reason just to go on. Well, that's not going to be the case today because I just got to go on uh, and I'll paint something. So I'm not even looking from the finished standpoint. But this, I could very well stop on, and uh, yes. it's got a force, and I know it. So, that not being the case, the thing is uh, how to uh, 
do something that's more. Uh, this is a kind of dangerous thing to do in the living room. Barbie's living room. I'm going to be in a shit house here. Then it's strange, estranged as well, the business of talking while I'm painting. Uh, it's really a very silent kind of a thing and alone, so there's an awareness of it, but I think, I think we can get through it. Who knows, maybe it'll go well. Then there's the question of it has to, if it isn't dry, stuff gets mushy and scrumbled and you're not getting what you want when you go to try on something figurative. Uh, at this point, this can be anything. Uh, it can be as it is, it could swing into a universe, uh, it could be a Pueblo, it could be anything. Uh, but what is it really? I don't know. We'll see. There we go. Uh, well, you know what it is. I think we're going to go to a certain point and then going to start and let this dry and tomorrow paint it because I'm not going to be able to work on it wet and no sense forcing it. Jackson Pollock used to do this kind of thing but he did it outside at his place on the island and on the ground, probably his wife said, if you do this inside, you're a dead duck. <laughs> uh, and uh, the drips and all of that, and laying them on the ground. Uh, This fork is turning out to be an invaluable tool. Someday I'm going to get it right under my palm. Not yet. May not look controlled as it goes, but you'd be amazed. I can put whatever I want where I want and that's a problem after a while because the randomness is, is part of what's important. I still have no idea where I'm going as far as subject matter or anything. I'm painting. Uh, and that can be the subject matter itself. <laughs> 